this town is an amazing, amazing arts town. What it needs, though, is it needs outlets for its uh, smaller artists, its younger artists, its more experimental artists who can take chances. Well, I don't know much about the Fringe Festival. I know that it's a festival here in D.C. that celebrates poetry, art, film, music. have an awesome beer garden in the parking lot. From everything that I've heard about it, it's a whole lot of fun. Fringe started in Edinburgh, Scotland, and um, the term Fringe became because Edinburgh was starting a major international festival, and a lot of local artists were upset that they weren't invited, so they fringed the international festival. I moved here to Washington, D.C. in 2005, and um, it was really dead. Myself and um, Damien Sinclair, who at that time worked at Woolly Mammoth Theatre, just started talking about it, and uh, then the whole thing sort of snowballed. A lot of different people, community leaders, people from the theater community, people from the dance community, hundreds of people got involved. What we do when we designed the festival and when we created it is we created an event that's A, impossible to ignore, B, we'll get you sucked into it. It's the kind of event with so much going on that it's going to force people, whether they like it or not, to let their hair down and try things. In planning the festival, we thought we'd have about 50 groups. There's a lot of educated people here, um, and the Fringe really does allow a time in everyone's social calendars to kind of let their hair down and and realize that it's okay to make their own judgments and not be told what is good or what is bad, but that they themselves can choose what shows to go to. saying that Fringe has really changed and brought a new kind of, ex, uh, of uh, creative, um, creative atmosphere and a creative energy to the city that it didn't have before. They can, they can put new works and, and exciting works or fun works or silly works or whatever they're doing uh, out there and, uh, and share in the environment of the festival. I think if it continues the way it is in, in an unjuried fashion uh, uh, where there's no, no judgment on what, what folks are presenting, uh, it's just, uh, it, it can't help but grow in, in the sense of uh, just more things being presented, more ideas being presented, more discussions uh, uh, being had as a result of, of what's being taken in and what's being offered. Some artists are looking at this as a way to simply do something. And for them, it's not about the ticket sales. It's more of the fact that they've been wanting to write this play, and this gives them an outlet to do that. Since day one, when I heard the term cringe and decided I'd just try it out, uh, uh, it just, it, it, it was like instant family. It's just the most delightfully overstimulating thing in the world. It's the, uh, it's the openness of it and the, uh, you know, it, it costs money to, to perform, but it's not a lot of money. They have this whole, like, little microcosm of theater set up in about like a block and a half. I just felt all the energy of all the wonderful actors and, and uh, musicians. And it's cool because we can just come here and nerd out about stuff like that. And it's family from day one. We're not, we're not calling established DC theater um, old or, or out of date. It's just where we sit in this, around everything else. And, and um, I mean, it's, I think it's a, it's a force to be, to be reckoned with. Our goal as Capital French is to make sure that 
this is something that stays around forever and is something that the community can enjoy for many years to come.